Harry L. Glucksman was a 7,198 GRT Liberty ship, MC Type EC2SC1, built by the Southeastern Shipbuilding Corporation of Savannah, Georgia, launched on April 29, 1944, delivered to the War Shipping Administration May 20, 1944, and sailing in convoy from New York to the United Kingdom on June 10. The ship was laid up May 29, 1948 with two withdrawals from reserve November 20, 1951 to June 9, 1952 and November 29, 1956 to March 31, 1958, the second withdrawal for transporting coal to Europe. The ship remained in reserve until transferred permanently to the United States Navy which completely gutted the ship in a conversion to become a device, designated minesweeper, special, MSS-1 for the Atlantic Fleet Mine Force Research and Development Project intended to develop an unsinkable hull equipped with magnetic coils to increase its magnetic signature for the detonation of magnetic mines and using its hull pressure to detonate pressure mines. MSS-1 was placed out of service March 15, 1973 and returned to the Maritime Administration, Merid, for disposal on September 2, 1975. Harry L. Glucksman was a 7,198 GRT Liberty ship. MC Type EC 2SC1, laid down on March 18, 1944 under a Maritime Commission contract, MC Hull MC E2445, by the Southeastern Shipbuilding Corporation AF Savannah, Georgia and launched on April 29, 1944. The ship was delivered to the War Shipping Administration, WSA, on May 20, 1944 and operated by Merchants and Miners Transportation Company as the WSA agent until November 1, 1946 when the ship was operated by Isme and Steamship Company under Bearboat Charter. Records show that only weeks after delivery to WSA on May 20, 1944 Harry L. Glucksman joined convoy number HXM-295 that sailed from Halifax and later from New York on June 10 arriving United Kingdom on June 26. The ship was taken over by Dyckman Wright and Pew on May 6, 1948 and laid up on the reserve fleet at Wilmington, North Carolina on May 29. The ship briefly came out of reserve November 20, 1951 to June 9, 1952 for operation by U.S. Navigation Company under a military sea transportation service charter before again being laid up at Wilmington. Another period of activity was from November 29, 1956 to March 17, 1958 with American Coal Shipping Incorporated, under Berbo Charter for transporting coal to Europe until delivered to Aero Steamship at Norfolk, Virginia for deactivation and then layup in the James River Reserve Fleet on March 31. On August 23, 1966 the ship was transferred to the United States Navy to be converted into a minesweeper special by American Shipbuilding of Lorain, Ohio. The ship's hull was completely gutted and a shock-hardened pilot house was fitted. Intended to sweep influence mines by detonating them with pressure wave or magnetic signature generated by her hull. In late summer of 1969, the ship underwent extensive shock testing off Key West, Florida. The ex-Harry L. Glucksman was placed in service as an Atlantic Fleet Mine Force Research and Development Project officially a device for testing, and designated minesweeper, special, MSS-1. The device, arriving at Charleston, South Carolina in August 1969, was intended to test the feasibility of using an unsinkable ship to produce by its own hull and special magnetic coils ringing the main deck the magnetic and pressure signature of a larger ship. MSS-1, displacing nearly 15,000 tons, was filled with about 140,000 cubic feet. 3,964.4 cubic meters of styrofoam and all compartments below the waterline were flooded for ballast. Propulsion was by five inboard slash outboard diesel engines to minimize risk of loss of propulsion from explosions. The pilot house was shock mounted and special padded, shock mounted chairs were provided for the officer in charge and eight enlisted crew. The shock tests took place in the Gulf of Mexico and by October 1978 such tests had taken place as the MSS-1 developed from a complete unknown to an operationally tested platform. The original officer in charge, Lt. Eugene N. Kate, received the Meritorious Unit Commendation for the crew and several members received individual awards. MSS-1 was removed from service March 15, 1973 and returned to the Maritime Administration, Merid, for disposal on September 2, 1975 and delivered to Luria Brothers and Company for scrapping the same day. The former Harry L. Glucksman was scrapped in 1975 at Brownsville, Texas.